In my last video, I explained why this cone rises up when the air gets sucked down on it. So as the air is going down this cone, it's moving faster, and by Bernoulli's principle, the pressure inside this cone is lower because the air is moving faster than it is out here, and so with more pressure this way than this way, it lifts up the cone, and it's not so much a function of the hole on the bottom, because if I change the size of this hole, that doesn't change the behavior that much. But the big mystery was, why does a straight piece of pipe exhibit that same behavior to a lesser degree? And it's trying to lift up a bit. Not very much though, but it shouldn't lift up at all. So this was a mystery to me, and I ended the video saying, does anybody know the answer to this? And I got a lot of people's guesses. And of all the complicated answers, this one, maybe the low pressure caused by the air bending around the upper edges of the straight pipe is pulling it up. Maybe that's it. The wall thickness of this toilet paper roll is, after all, half a millimeter, and if the edge is a little bit messed up, uh, effectively it's thicker. So I made another pipe out of cardstock, and I don't see this one trying to lift very much. It can lift, but it doesn't. And then I put a bead of hot glue around the top edge. It's really not very thick, but it is a bead. And what do you know? It lifts quite substantially. And just to show again, it's not the effect of the hole on the bottom. But it's a different pipe, so what if they're different? Well, it turns out I can demonstrate it even on the same piece of pipe. So here's my thin walled cardstock tube again, and this time I've weighted down with an O-ring a little bit, and as you can see, it stays down. But now if I move that O-ring to the top edge, watch it rise. So as the air gets sucked into the end of the pipe, it comes from all directions, and the air that's coming from here has to make a rather sharp turn around here, and just a centrifugal force from that creates enough of a vacuum that it's able to suck up at the end of the pipe just a half a millimeter thickness, way more vacuum than I had imagined. And making the edge of that pipe wider just gives it more area to suck on. And this is why for industrial applications where efficiency matters, you would typically have something called a bell mouth that kind of curves on the ends here, and that helps to guide the fluid in. And this bell, just like my cone, actually gets pulled up quite a bit because the pressure here is lower than here. And it being sucked up, effectively, it's helping to push the fluid in. And that makes for more efficient flow. So I'm just kind of thrilled. It's like, yay, mystery solved. So uh, thank you, random YouTube user E Vittorio E. That suggestion really helped.